Now today we are going to start a new chapter, Force and Motions, and this is a very big chapter. Uh, usually, I would take about four months to complete the whole chapter, uh, because there are many subtopics in these chapters. Now, uh, as usual, let's start with a mind map. Uh, let's see what are we going to discuss in these chapters. Now, under this uh, Force and Motion, there are three main subtopics. Uh, the first one is the studies of motions. And then the second one is the studies of force, and uh, the last one is work, energy, and power. Okay, and uh, for studies of motions, we uh, need to learn the definitions and formulas of uh, of some physical quantities that related to motions, such as uh, distance, displacement, accelerations, velocity, and so on. Okay, we will also discuss uh, take a tape, take a tape, and take a tape timer. Now, take a tape is used to measure and analyze the motions. Eh? Okay, so that is the instrument that we are going to use to measure and analyze motions. And uh, after take a tapes, we will discuss uh, motion graph. There are three types of motion graph: the displacement time graph, velocity time graph, and acceleration time graph. Uh, so that is what are we going to discuss under studies of motions. Now, for studies of force, uh, we will discuss inertia, uh, momentum, and effect of, of force. Uh, other than that, we will also discuss uh, impulse and impulsive force, uh, safety features in vehicles, gravity, and uh, forces in equilibrium. Eh? So for studies of force, uh, we will probably take about two months uh, two months to complete this eh? and uh, for work energy and power uh, we will discuss energy and power and uh, the efficiency eh? efficiency and also work uh, other than that we will uh, there is one more uh, small subtopic eh? called elastic city we will probably take about one month eh? to complete this uh, work energy and power so in total, we are going to take about four months to uh, complete this topic. Now just now we have learned that there are three main subtopic in force and motions, right? And the first one is called the studies of motion. Now studies of motion sometimes is called kinematics. Eh? Okay. So kinematic is a research regarding the types of movements of an object without referring to the forces that cause the movement of the object. We are not going to discuss about force under kinematics. Eh? Okay, force will be discussed under studies of force, uh, or uh, we call it dynamics. So under kinematics, uh, we only discuss motions, uh, motions without referring to the forces that cause the movement. Okay, so uh, under kinematics, just now we already learned that uh, we have these uh, fundamentals of kinematics uh, or fundamentals of motions, where we discuss those uh, physical quantities that are related to motions. Okay, for example, distance, displacement, speed, velocity, and uh, accelerations. Okay, we will discuss the definitions and their formula and uh, what's the difference between them. And uh, uh, after that, we will discuss ticker tape. And under ticker tapes, we will discuss analyzing ticker tape. Okay, so how do we know uh, the the object is undergoing uh, uniform accelerations or uniform decelerations or uniform speeds? Uh, so we will learn how to analyze uh, the motions from the ticker tape. And we will also learn how to find velocity and uh, find acceleration from take a tape. Okay. Uh, after take a tapes, we have this uh, graph of motions. And uh, as I told you just now, there are three types of graph of motions. Displacement time graph. Uh, under displacement time graph, we will learn how to analyze the graph and how to calculate, uh, for example, the velocity from the graph. Uh, okay. Uh, the second types of uh, motion graph is the velocity time graph. Again, we will learn how to analyze it and how to do some calculations, okay? And uh, and also we will learn how to convert this uh, velocity velocity time graph to uh, acceleration time graph, or the velocity time graph to displacement time graph, huh? okay? And uh, the last graph is this uh, acceleration time graph. Uh, so it's from here, okay? So we can see that huh? we will learn how to uh, convert huh? a velocity time graph to acceleration time graph. And one more thing, sir. Okay, under kinematic is uh, we we will learn uh, comparing sir, the difference between uh, distance and displacement, uh, the difference between speeds and velocity, and the difference between this ST graph. ST graph is the displacement time graph. Okay. 
the different the difference between ST graph and VT graph. A VT graph is the velocity time graph. So, uh, so under kinematics, uh, that is what you need to know. And uh, today, for these lessons, we are going to start with fundamentals of kinematics, uh, where we will discuss distance, displacement, speed, velocity, and acceleration.